Sorry for the late post, you guys, but it just uh, had a couple of things to do with family um, over the Labor Day weekend. I think it's Labor Day. But it, this week's uh, post is going to be uh, pretty simple. We're going to install the uh, carbon fiber trunk. I've had it for a while. Um, got it from a friend through another friend. Uh, but the thing I noticed, it doesn't have any labels. Um, it has no branding or anything on it. So with that said, the install might not be as easy because uh, some of this stuff doesn't fit very, very good. So we're gonna find out. Hopefully you, uh, we don't have to find out the hard way, but uh, let's get right into it. All right, so I, as I mentioned before you guys, uh, usually there's branding like inside here or some kind of stamp of uh, a product or what kind of uh, company that made the, uh, the uh, carbon fiber piece, but unfortunately this one doesn't. So I'm assuming it's like a Chinese knockoff brand or a replica. And with that said, it's chances are it might not fit very well. Um, but let's go over the quality. Like overall looks pretty good so far, right? But and when you flip it over, that's when you start seeing all the, the little blemishes like the seams here it's not one piece uh, I don't know I don't know if it's supposed to be but maybe it's a higher quality brand you won't see this kind of a seam here and uh, some blemishes here and overall is you can see the waviness I don't know I don't know if the, uh, the camera can pick it up or not but you can actually really see it's not really high quality I'm not assuming it's uh, expensive at all because it's just not very good you guys but it is what it is it's um, just boring it from a friend to see uh, how it would look on my car I really really like the the duck bill or duck tail look so I really want to try it out and uh, yeah let's try it so to start out uh, there would originally be a carpet that covers the uh, the, I guess the skeleton in the inside here with all the little plugs so you remove all that which I redid to wrap it so it's all gone you take these off and these come out pretty easy just pull on them they'll come out and same with the security uh, escape latch here that'll come out and after that we're going to remove the uh, wiring harness and we're going to loop it out through here so that's the first step it's pretty straightforward you guys it's not that hard Take the 10 mil here to get the uh, toe strap off. Ten mils. So this is held on by two ten mils, and just the uh, power source for here, which is this one here. So up next is actually the tricky part. Um, the wiring harness here, one for the actuator, for the latch, and one for your third brake light. It goes in all the way in here and behind your spoiler here. So if you don't want to remove the spoiler to get it, um, you can do what I did. I went to the local pick apart and got a harness that matches. So this one is out of a uh, Infinity, I believe it's a Q50, yeah, something like that. And I got the harness for the brake light and the door latch, or the uh, trunk latch here. This is the most important part. This one, and I believe 
this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug it into here and this one into here like this. And this will go into the latch itself so that I don't have to uh, fish out this. So when I just remove the four bolts, we're going to put the new um, trunk on and retain this to the OEM. So don't remove that. So it should work. We're just going to figure out which wire is which to actuate the, uh, the actuator. So that's up next. All right, guys. So it worked out pretty good. I bought the one piece here for the actuator. And then the other side where it goes into the actual brake light, um, I bought the male side so that it goes into the factory female here. And we uh, soldered it all together and taped it up. Uh, the wiring is kind of weird because I got it from an Infinity, so the color coding is off. So black is actually not black, right, Kevin? Yeah, even. Not if, any story that it's not um, ground. Black isn't ground. It just depends because, regardless if it's an import, uh, domestic, uh, European, they're the same the like the same connectors are going to be used for like several different spots in yeah. the car yeah so main thing is on the on the original harness you know ground is ground so what we did is we connected it these are straight on connectors so the ground when you look at the lineup of the the four wires the blue ground black ends up being blue yep. and then we tested our our power for our light which was the the yellow which is red yeah. on this end and then we tested the red for the actuator kicking in and that's ends up coming out black on this yeah. connector harness and then the gray is a constant which, power for signal for your brake light right yeah so gray is the brake light and pink is for the actuator guys if you're looking to do the exact same method i'm doing um yeah the, this the this connector doesn't really matter yeah just grab a whatever 12 volt tester and You'll see a constant power. Come on. It's really dim, but it's constant. Yep. You're, like I said, your black is always ground, and then you test the other two to see which one's the brake and which yep. one's the actuator. Yeah. Uh, we're not doing anything with the light for now because there's no light on it. This one doesn't have a third brake light, so yeah. we're going to leave that. And then for the actuator, we held it in place and then hit the, the trunk release, and then the ac when the yep. actuator kicks in, it comes on. Yeah. So, Kevin, you want to plug that in, and then I'll show them. Yep. that it actually works. Here you go guys, I'm gonna press the release button. There you go. So I didn't have to take my spoiler apart to uh, take out the factory harness, so there you go. All right guys, so a lot of you guys uh, probably researched online that these are really soft to, uh, um, they're really easy to strip and they're soft. But the secret that I used was I, uh, I impacted them out. You just got to put a lot of uh, weight into it and impact them out. And because if you don't, if you use just a regular, um, power drill. yeah, if you use just a regular power drill, guys, even an 18 volt, it'll, uh, it just automatically just strips it right out. So now we're going to have to uh, drill this one out, you guys. We uh, tightened down the 10 mils, ran the cables in. And tucked it inside here. It's really nice, you guys. See? And I don't have to uh, take the uh, factory cable or anything like that. So let's just tuck that in here for now. And then also, we put some uh, new bolts in that we stripped. So we got some new ones in here. I'm going to clip this back in. We'll do that after. And then uh, we're going to tighten these down, but we're going to adjust it first to see. How it goes. All right, Kevin. Let's do it. Moment of truth. Uh, it's not. It's not bad, I guess. But let's uh, let's try the actuator. Oh, it works, you guys. So it works. So I uh, so I didn't have to take anything apart. But uh, let, let's go. Let's close it again, Kevin. And then let's uh, let's critique this uh, this China it knockoffs. Seems yeah, so, symmetry is not their best suit. So you can see the big, big gaps, you guys. See that? One. Massive gaps here. Especially at the bottom. This does not fit. Compared to this side, it's actually closer on the outside. And a big gap. So bottom. for me, it's like, this is a no, no go for you guys. No bueno. From far away, it's decent, but it's not 
honestly, it's not gonna. We'll go till the end of the season and then we'll figure it out after. Alrighty, guys, so this is the finishing product. It absolutely uh, looks really nice, you guys. You know, just, just perfect the lip. But, yeah. The only thing I can't get over is you see, see that huge gap? And it kind of fits a lot nicer here. And the gap is somewhat symmetrical onto the side. But I just can't get over that uh, huge gap here, you guys. And then over here, too. Just the, just the fitment is just not, just not there. Like, look at this. I know some of you guys are probably wondering where if you can just adjust it, but the only problem is it's already pre-drilled in here and there's uh, crush washers so that you can mount the screws and you can only adjust it so much so you can't really re-drill it because then they're structural or just the screws would be like look like the figure eights, right? So I just don't see that happening. But yeah, other than that, it's a... Uh, it's a good install, you guys. So what do you guys think? Do you think I should rock this? This is a beautiful look, but it just the fit and finish is not very good. But uh, yeah, leave a comment below if you guys like the uh, wingless look or wing look. Big wing gang or wingless. Put a comment below. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, uh, you do get what you pay for, you guys. Like this is like an... China knockoff or whatever brand it is you guys I don't know what honestly I don't know what it is but you can see right away it just the fit and finish is just not very good and um, it's good from far but far from good so the amount of money that you guys spend on this kind of cars this is what you don't want on your vehicle and yeah maybe I'll just rock it to the end of the season I'll give it back to my uh, my one friend there and we'll see what else we can get all right guys so hope you guys are enjoying the vlog and if you guys are hit that uh, like button and give me a uh, subscribe you guys and support the channel. So we see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya. All right, by the way, big thanks to uh, my hairy friend here, Kevin, <laughs> AK Fabio. <laughs> All right guys, give him a follow on his Instagram.